against light, dark against light. If I go put this tree going right up to the wine bottle, the wine bottle is going to have to be a little bit lighter right up next to it, just so things can stand out. Kind of like this really dark back here. That's going to be a lake back there, too. This water back. Trying to avoid tangents, I'll just go. <laughs> I'm glad this isn't my first demo for you all. You wouldn't be coming back. <coughs> um, you, you know where I'm coming from. Those are the trees in the background. Get it? I'm going to put the lighter on the top. And then this is all going to be just green grass back here. Simple big shape right here. Resting area. And then design, these are my flowers so I can get a feel for these. Since this is the last painting of the day, why don't you just start off and just, I mean, really get loose with this one. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Let's not stress about the drawing part so much, okay? I'm, a, I'm not going to stress about this chair. Forget about it. Forget about it. I'm not, I'm just not doing it. It's not going to win. There goes my, this is going to be my table. There's my bottle of wine right here. Glass. Well, we, maybe we can put another glass that won't be so long. We, or we'll put a glass right here. Mm -hmm. Now it's a party. I'm trying to solve problems here. I just think that chair tucked back there. How's that? That's good. Stand back. fabric here, the shadow coming down. This is fun to do. Up against, it's going to be up against a very crisp tablecloth. Nothing like a white tablecloth in the sunlight. Even the camera made it beautiful. This is the shadow here going across here like this. See this beautiful shadows? You know, by the way, I was thinking about this at lunchtime, driving around here. There's just so many things to shoot here. Um, and the winter sun is so beautiful. It's so crisp. Do you ever notice that? I mean, it's like that up north, mm -hmm. too. It's just crisp as can be. And, um... I've seen a million things I could have taken pictures of while I'm here. Just the, the light on the building is here. Really nice. Um, then I'm going to go in with... It's not quite white enough, but it will be. You know, this is the white tablecloth. And this is the part. This is what you go down. Drop it down here like this. I mean, parts of it come right over the edge, and then some of it goes right up to the edge. That's not how you make totally folds, but it's a fun way to paint fabric. It's not totally solving what you asked me before, but... Mm -hmm. Just gives us that feeling of... light hitting the fabric. That's where it folds. It's fun to paint. So then... I'm going to go back with, um, oh, well, I have this light color, and I need more white because my palette is really in that. These are going to be, you know, my flowers are going to be over here against this really dark green, whatever it is. And then this is going to be 
get excited about doing it. <laughs> and then I think I'm going to come in. I want to contrast. I might just use light blue for my water back here. Ooh. Might not stay. Things can always change. That's really blue. It's just a what if. I got green there, so that's just a what if. I'm not sure. It's not too bad. Make it nice swimming. It could be swimming. Basically, that's it. I'm going to have a lot of rest days. I mean, this is a rest day. This is just going to be fabric. This is going to be my chair back here. This is going to be, um, you know, a tree coming down, and then this is the background. We could do a little <coughs> um, beach back here like this. Then we have to go put the background behind it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a possibility. It would be because this would be, you know, you're right. Uh, because that is a solid shape. It would have to be pretty interesting because it's pretty massive. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just to put a little. 